So this series is the Gastronomy Dinner Series. We created this as a way to celebrate the launch of our print magazine, but we also wanted to find a way to bring people together through collaboration. The world of gastronomy is complex. We wanted to do a, a new series to showcase how cocktails and food can work together. Tonight we have a special menu. We're in Patong, the mission star restaurant from Chef Pam. I'm so excited because I brought friend and fellow bartender Gabriel Valdez from Villa France. Those two went through a research and development phase to bring Pam's create complex and creative Thai Chinese cuisine and in Gabriel's Nordic innovative cocktails. The complexity alone is mind boggling, but to see how it works tonight is going to be so exciting. My name is Gabriel Valdez. Uh, I'm the bar manager of Villa France and Cocktail Bar. I'm Pam Pichaya Sumtana Nikit, our chef Pam and the chef owner of Potong. Eating Pam's food and her explaining the story to us, to me at least, it came very, very organic, the way of the in r and process. Basically to not think too much and also showcasing the pure Nordic style uh, of making things. Gabriel, he's young, talented, and he creates magic. To be honest, our food is not easy to pair because we have a lot of spices, a lot of um, bold flavors. But what Gabriel does, he creates a menu or a cocktail that elevates the food, meanwhile, keep the beauty of the cocktail. First and foremost, we want to take them through a journey between the Nordics and Asia. People will obviously think, how would you ever match that? So for us, it's impo most importantly to create taste bridges in between. Today we're doing uh, several courses, a signature one. Uh, we do the oyster, which is going to pair with martini. So it's going to be something not too strong, but actually it elevates the oyster flavor. For the oyster dish, we were looking for a fatty element, uh, essentially, to pair it with. We created a 50-50 martini with gin and the butter washed aquavit to find, uh, to get it some fatty element. And then we will finish up with caviar on the side. Crab dish, which has like crab emulsion and pepper jam. What he did is that when we taste the cocktail with the food, oh my God, the food itself tastes even better with the cocktail. With Pam's crab dish, it immediately took me to the Swedish uh, Stockholm Sakapelago, where we usually have something very refreshing. I wanted to make a spritz with a bit of a heat to meet uh, Pam's sauces, essentially. And uh, we ended up with uh, strawberries and Szechuan together with a Swedish uh, aperitif uh, that we sourced uh, from the south part of uh, Stockholm. Pam's food is quite tricky to pair any cocktail with, uh, especially the family dinner, the duck, uh, the duck dish, because it evolved through the actual course, where you start heavily with the rice and then it kind of uh, finish up more uh, smoother. So we wanted to create a cocktail which also evolves through the family dinner, where we finish it up with umeshu. I want the guests to feel that food doesn't have to be eaten with only wine pairing. And I hope that this event will change the perception that fine dining can also pair with cocktails and it can be elevated. So I want the people to enjoy the whole dinner. It's a long dinner to start with, so no, but it's going to be great. Uh, again, we're very happy. It turned out to be exactly how we wanted it, so that's something I'm very proud of and of course obviously showcasing it today. The 
something that not everyone can do and I'm very excited to for the guests to come and taste uh, potong with the pairing of gabbios. Gastronomy Dinner Series is a series to celebrate the launch of Gastronomy Lifestyle. Gastronomy Lifestyle you can find online and across our social media, but please also look for our print magazine, distributed across the city in 200 locations. Every month we focus on one topic, with this month being fine dining, the second month cocktails, and in May we look at a world of design. This is Gastronomy Lifestyle, and welcome to our world. Thank you.